This has been a summer of frightening animals in Rhode Island, a piranha in Coventry, an alligator in Lincoln, and now an unknown scary creature in Portsmouth. Whatever it was, was so big and so scary, a Fall River couple thought they were going to die. It's a story you'll see only here on Eyewitness News. The couple spoke exclusively with our Sean Daly. Sean joins us now with their amazing ordeal. We haven't heard of anything quite like this around here before. Imagine swimming mindlessly in the late afternoon sun when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a huge, horrifying creature, roughly 15 feet long, rocks your world. Tuesday afternoon here at Petty's Beach in Portsmouth. What happened gives new meaning to this danger sign. <laughs> it's still hard for her, isn't it? Yeah, she, she went to a counselor to talk to a counselor this morning. I, you know, so. It was low tide, and Rachel Carney was out beyond the danger sign, floating on her back, relaxing, when big trouble struck. I turned around, I heard a hissing, a hissing sound. So I stopped, I looked beside me, and all I seen was a face come up with these big teeth. And I just remember the face being like shaped like a basketball. And the face went in, like kind of sucked in, and then went like squared off. And then it had all white, and it kept swimming around me. It rubbed up against my leg. So I, I, I just stopped, and I pretended like I wasn't moving. That's when it rubbed up went down and kept going around me. It rubbed up against like, your leg? Up, up against my leg. It literally. touched you? It touched me. That's how I knew it was scary. Scary? With scales, because I felt the scales, and plus I seen the face. So I started swimming away. I yelled, Danny, help me. Something's chasing me. Rachel Carney's fiance, Dennis Vasconcelos, had been fishing with a buddy on these rocks. He raced into the water. It's going to get her. I grabbed her by the ass. Oh, rear red. And I grabbed her like that and I whipped her in we're over her head I says just yeah. I says I whipped her in I says Rachel just swim don't turn around no matter what you hear right now I stood there and the thing's going like around me and stuff all right and I can see how big it is and stuff and it's gigantic okay it has scales on it and stuff now all of a sudden for me to you away this big head comes up on a simple, I've never seen nothing like this before in my life. It's like a foot, a basketball. It's like this big, okay? It comes up and it's got these fangs, like my fingers, right? The first, this many in the bottom, and about two or three at the top, plus layers inside, okay? And it's like blackish on the top a little bit, and it's got a couple of scales that you can see and stuff, and you can see the white starting under its neck, and it shoots water out of its nose, right? And out of its mouth, it goes like this to me. It goes, and it spit the water out of me. Now I think it's going to kill me, you know what I mean? The group thinks the creature was attracted to blood from a nasty injury to Joey Malo's leg. Joey was out in the water as he is right now, cleaning his leg. Joey, how much blood was there? I bled for an hour and a half, and it just wouldn't stop. I will not ever go in salt water again, because I am not scared. I thought it was dead that day, honestly. I didn't think he was going to make it in time to get me. I just thought it was dead. I thought it was a farmer. At first, I thought it was an eel, okay, because it was when it was rolling first, right? It would roll, and you could see the white and stuff. But when it got to chase her, it was okay. going like this. You know what I mean? Like, they go a little bit like this, like a hump, sort of. It sounds like a, uh, a barracuda, similar, yeah. like that, all right? Uh, Man, I, you're still in the moment right now, two days later. You're still, still in this I'm moment, aren't you? This. I have flipped over this. this I've, I, seen, I went to bed. I've been going to bed with things grabbing me, wrapping around my neck, choking, fighting underground and everything. It's still a mystery what the creature was. State environmental agents checked out the scene today and found nothing. So the best guess comes from marine experts we checked with. They figure it may have been some sort of a tropical fish that migrated here with a warm Gulf current, Mother Mother Ocean. We're live, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. More on what's happening with the Amtrak crisis and Elvis economics. Stay with us.